Hello everyone, this is Solo Satyadas. Today we are going to see how we can set up the AWS developer environment in our local machine. For this, we need to install a set of uh, softwares. We need to install the runtimes required for building applications. And we also need to set up an IDE. So here we are, I'm going to use the Visual Studio code as the IDE. So we'll be starting with the AWS free tier account creation. Then I will show you how we can create an IAM user, how we can create an IAM user profile in our local machine. Later, I will show you how we can install the AWS CLI and the SAM CLI for building the serverless applications. How to install and configure the Python framework, Node.js and the .NET uh, 6 for building the applications using Visual Studio Code. First of all, we are starting with the AWS free tier account. Let's see how we can create this AWS free tier account. For that, we need to navigate to this URL, aws.amazon.com slash free. So you can open your browser and then navigate to the page. So here you will be getting an option to create a free account which will give you one year free tier account uh, using this you will be able to create uh, the resources on the AWS account uh, for free but yes the limits are applied on the resources you can create only a specific set of resources uh, with uh, quotas applied on that so you need to click on this create a free account then you will be redirected to the uh, uh, user creation page you can click on this create a new uh, aws account button in this uh, page here you can provide a valid user uh, name that means the root user email id and the AWS account name and you need to verify your email address uh, that you own your email account. So I'm not going to continue with this steps because uh, I already have a free tier account. Uh, during this free tier account creation you may have to uh, provide the details of your credit card for the validation. You need to verify your email account so you need to mention a valid email account which is used as the root user email account once you complete the uh, free account creation you can log in as the root user inside your aws account after you create your free tier account you can come back to the uh, login page of your AWS account and you can select the option root user if you want to log in as a root user so since we have not created any IAM users we have to first log in as the root user so I'm selecting this root user and then you can type your uh, root user email ID here and you can click on this next you need to fill up this captcha Once you log into your AWS account, you will get a dashboard or the console home page 
like this you are the root user and it is not recommended to create the and manage the resources as a root user so the first thing that you need to do is create an IAM user with limited permissions but for creating and managing your resources with full access you can create a, a user with full administrative access so for that first you need to go and search for the service IAM that is the identity access management where you can create an IAM user here in my case I already have uh, some IAM users created so I'll show you how we can create a new IAM user so you can click on this add users button to create a new user specify the username that you want to provide for your IAM user so I can give the username as demo user and then you can select the credential types if you want to uh, provide access through your uh, AWS CLI or through SDK using a secret access key and ID then you have to select this option so your IAM user will be able to log in to your AWS account using the CLI or SDK or other development tools and if you want to provide the browser console access also means you want to provide access for your browser based console then you can select a password based uh, access also so if you are selecting a AWS console access you need to provide an a password for your user so you can either use the auto generated password or you can provide your own custom password so I'm gonna give a simple uh, password which get which I can easily remember that you may need to uh, reset uh, during the first login So here you can see require password reset uh, that is uh, that means when the user log in for the first time to the browser based console you need to reset the password. So I click on this next permissions. So here I can provide the roles and permissions for the user. So I already have a group created that is admins group which has the uh, administrator access policy associated with that. So if you want to associate the policy directly to the user, not through this group, you can click on this attach existing policies and you can select this administrative administrator access policy. Then you can click on this next. You can optionally provide the tags click on next here you will you can review the details of this new user the username and the permissions what is assigned so you can see uh, the managed policy administrator access is assigned to the new user and then click on this create user so once the user is created you will be able to see the uh, success page where you can see the secret access key ID and the secret access key. So you can download this uh, secret access key and the ID by clicking on this download CSV. I'm just downloading this. You need to download this and keep it safe because this uh, access key ID and the secret access key is required for setting up the user in your local machine when you want to work with the uh, CLI and beyond. So I have successfully downloaded this and you can go back to the users list and you will be able to see the newly created user. So we have created the user successfully 
and now we need to log in as the uh, IAM user which we have created just now so for that we need to copy the user account ID that is your AWS account ID from here I'm just copying it then you can sign out the root user account so you'll go back to this uh, page where you can click on this log back in and the login page this time you need to select the IAM user so this will be asking the account ID where you need to fill your uh, 12 digit AWS account ID you can paste the copied account ID here click on next give your IAM user ID here and then you can provide the password for this IAM user click on this sign in and this is the first time you are logging in you need to reset the password for your IAM user for that type your old password and you can change this to a new password once you complete the password reset you will be logged in to the AWS console and to switch to the new console uh, UI you can click on this button and you will be navigated to the uh, IAM user uh, console home page and you can change your region which region you want to work with you can select the region here I'm selecting Mumbai as my current region and if once you start creating your resources you will uh, see all the resources will be created in the Mumbai region as I have selected Mumbai as my current region so we have successfully created this IAM user and logged into this AWS management console now we need to create the local user account profile in our system using this uh, CLI for that first we need to download the AWS CLI so you can navigate to this aws.amazon.com slash CLI just copy I'm just copying this URL and navigate to here So you can see the AWS CLI is available for Windows, Mac and Linux operating systems. You can click on the corresponding uh, uh, link for your operating system. Since I am using Windows, I am clicking on this 64-bit Windows installer. This is going to in download this uh, AWS CLI version 2 once the download is completed we can start installing that in our local machine you can see the AWS CLI is downloaded successfully now I'm going to install this in my local machine So this installation may take some time so I'm pausing this video once it is completed I will continue showing you what is the next process 
the AWS CLI is successfully installed in my machine. So now you can open your terminal and you can check whether the AWS CLI is installed successfully or not. So you can run the AWS minus minus version command to check whether the AWS CLI is installed or not. As you can see, the AWS CLI is installed version 2.4.29. Now we can set up the AWS profile in our local machine using the AWS CLI. For that, we can use the AWS configure command either with a profile name or without profile name. If you use the profile name, then it will be considered as a uh, named profile. You can also use a default profile which is created without any name. So to create a default profile, I'm going to use the AWS configure command. Since I'm creating this uh, profile for the first time, it's uh, showing none in the bracket. That means there is no previously configured uh, access IDs or profile information for the default profile. So what you need to do is you have to open the downloaded CSV file. When you created the IAM user, you got this CSV file. You just need to open this using uh, the notepad or any editor, text editor. Or and you can take this access key ID and put that here. Now you need to provide the secret access key that also you can get from here. You can set a default region. So I'm going to set the default region as Mumbai. So it's AP South 1. And the default output format I'm setting as JSON. Yes, I have created the uh, profile. The default profile is created uh, for the IAM user. Now I can go and check the uh, AWS profile which is created. So here if, oh sorry. So as you can see, when I run this AWS S3 LS command, it is showing the uh, S3 bucket name that is there in my account. So if you don't have any S3 buckets created, it's not going to show anything. It will show an empty list. Since I have an S3 bucket already access, it's showing that bucket name here. So this is just to test whether the a profile created is able to connect the AWS account. So as you can see, I'm getting this uh, S3 bucket name here that uh, indicates that I'm able to uh, connect to my uh, AWS account. We have successfully installed the a Amazon CLI or AWS CLI and have created a default user profile for our IAM user. Now we are going to install the required runtimes and frameworks for building applications. So first we are going to install the Python. For that, we need to navigate to www.python.org slash downloads website. So I'm taking this URL. Open the browser and navigate to this page. So here you can see the latest version of for Windows. I can see it's 3.10.4. So I'm going to download this. 
yes I got it and I'm gonna install this now let me install this with uh, the default configurations and you can also select this python 3.10 to the path so that you will be able to run your python from any location in your command prompt so i'll select this checkbox and select this first option so that it is so that it is going to install the python 3.10 in my machine This may take uh, some time, so I'm pausing this video. The installation process has been completed. And you can see the setup was successful. Now to check the Python installation, you can open the command terminal. And then you can run the Python minus minus version from any location. Yes, you can see the Python 3.10.4 is successfully uh, installed in our machine. Now we are going to install the Node.js. For installing the Node.js, we need to first go and download the Node.js runtime from the Node.js.org website. So let me navigate to the Node.js website. So here is the Node.js download website. I'm going to download the installer for Windows. So I have this Windows installer MSI 64 bit. I'm selecting the 64 bit installer. As you can see, the download process has been completed. So let me open the installer. So I'm going with all the default values. And this is going to install the Node.js runtime. The Node.js installation is completed, so I can open the terminal and check whether the installation is uh, successfully completed for my Node.js. So I'll run this node command minus minus version. Yes, it's showing the latest version 16.14.2 that is installed in my machine. Now I can download and install the latest .NET 6 framework. So this is a new .NET framework uh, we have uh, to install in our machine. So I can go to this URL that is .NET.Microsoft.com slash en hyphen us slash download slash .NET slash 6.0. Uh, let me navigate to this URL. So here you will be able to see the .NET SDK which is available. That is 6.0.201. You can install the Windows binary or installer. So I am going to take this Windows uh, SDK installer which is x64 which is for my 64 bit machine. So I'm going to take this and here it is downloading the latest version of the .NET SDK. Yes, it's been completed. Let me open the installer. Click on the install.
this may take some time. The insulation process has been completed. Now let me check the .NET command. I can run the .NET hyphen hyphen version. As you can see, the latest 6.0.201 is installed in my machine. Now we can see how we can install the SAM CLI in our local machine. SAM stands for uh, serverless application model. So if you are planning to build serverless applications using AWS Lambda, uh, you need to install the SAM CLI in your machine. For installing the SAM CLI, you can use this URL. This links I will be providing in the uh, description. So you can navigate to this URL. And here you can see the links for uh, SAM CLI download for Windows, Linux and Mac. So I am going to the Windows. And here you can see the steps for creating and configuring the SAM CLI uh, in your machine. So we can directly go to the step number four since we have already created the AWS account and configured the IAM user and the Docker installation is completely optional. So we can directly go to the step number four. Here we can download the SAM CLI. So let me download the 64 bit SAM CLI. And if you are looking for a 32 bit, you can click on this link. Yes, the SAM CLI has been downloaded. Let me install it. This may take some time. The SAM CLI installation is completed. Let us open the command terminal, check the SAM CLI installation. So let me run the command SAM and hyphen hyphen version. You can see the SAM CLI version 1.42 is installed successfully. Now we are moving to the next phase. We are going to install the Visual Studio Code in our local machine. So Visual Studio Code is an open source uh, ID for uh, building applications. You can use it for creating your Python, Node.js, .NET or uh, even Java applications. So we can uh, download the latest version of Visual Studio Code by navigating to the code.visualstudio.com slash download page. Open the browser and navigate to this download page. Here you can see the Windows, Linux and Mac versions of Visual Studio Code. So I'm selecting the Windows user installer 64-bit version. So you can also select a system installer 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. Since I'm going to use uh, user installer 64-bit, I'm going to select this option. Here it is going to download the 64-bit installer of Visual Studio Code. Now I can click on this uh, setup to start installing this ID. Now you can see the setup is launched. You need to accept the terms and conditions. Click on next and it's going to install in the users folder. Click next. 
And if you want to create a desktop icon, you can select this checkbox and you can also see an option for open with code in the Windows Explorer context menu. And even for the directory context menu also, you can see an option for open with menu. So this will help you to directly open the folder or file using the context menu option. So I'll just select that two options also and click on next and install this. This installation may take quite some time. So I'm just pausing this video. The installation is completed. So now I can launch the Visual Studio code. Visual Studio Code supports lots of extensions for building your uh, applications, means it supports the extensions for uh, building Docker applications, for Kubernetes deployments, for AWS and Microsoft Azure Cloud, and uh, uh, source code management. So you can install the AWS toolkit in your Visual Studio Code. For that, you can go to the extensions and search for AWS Toolkit. So when you search for AWS Toolkit, you will see the extension available for AWS Toolkit. Install that. You can also see uh, some other AWS related extensions for building the Amplify application for the CLI configuration and many other options. So since I am using only the AWS toolkit, I just want to install only this. You can see the AWS toolkit has been installed and you can see that at the in the left side here you can see an AWS extensions icon and it is automatically reading the default profile which we have configured in our local machine so we have uh, previously configured an iam user default profile using the aws cli so it uses that profile and shows that information uh, about our aws services if you have created some api gateways or cloud formation or if you have some S3, anything that you have created, you will be able to see it here. So here you can see the S3 bucket, which uh, I have in my uh, Mumbai region. So this uh, AWS toolkit will help you to create and deploy your uh, AWS resources directly from Visual Studio Code. So thanks for watching this video.